How's it going everyone? Andrew Kamide here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build and customize service calendars inside your high level. Now you may be wondering why you need a service calendar. Well, you can't use a standard calendar if you're offering a bunch of different services, right? So let's say you're a landscaping company and you're offering just a standard mowing or you're offering a complete overhaul of somebody's yard or tree trimming or bushes, something like that. They're all going to have different availability. They're all going to require different potential equipment. So you need a service calendar to separate these services and offer unique availability and allocate resources to that service. So I'm going to go over like the basics and, and show you guys how to set this up and do it in the most efficient way possible. So let's jump right in and start with this basic and general video on how to build and customize service calendars. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna jump into your high-level sub-account or your location, go to settings, and then go to calendars. Now, you'll notice when you create a calendar, you're gonna see service calendar here on the left, okay? I already have all of this created, but that's where you would create your first service calendar. The first thing we're gonna do is create a group. So I have like beard trim, men's haircut styles, hair color, and women's haircut styles. If I go to this service calendar, you're going to see I have these groupings. These are the different groups here. And you'll see them in bold text here. And then you'll see the calendars that I created for them underneath the bold text. So the first thing we're going to do is create the groups. So for example, I go in, I have beard trip. Let me show you from scratch. You just go to create group. Okay. This is where you would name the group, choose the templates and give it a URL. That's all the settings for the group. Okay. So each group is pretty basic because it's just a grouping of calendars, right? So if I go in here, you'll see this one has a specific description, a specific URL. So however many groups you need, just whatever your business or your customer's business needs, you would create those groups. Then you would come back and start creating the calendars. Now I have a filter on right now, so you can only see the service calendars that I've created. So I have like men's spike, men's fade, full color highlights, so on and so forth, okay? Now these are allocated to the group that they're situated under. So a men's haircut, like a men's fade would be under men's haircut styles. So in order to create a new service calendar, we're gonna go ahead and click on the blue button up here, create calendar. You're gonna see service calendar on the left. And now instead of just going into one of the service calendars that I've already created, I'm going to create one from scratch for you just to show you what it would look like. So I'm gonna click on select here. I'm gonna give it a name. Let's do a service calendar for beard trimming, right? Let's go mustache trim. Okay. And let's select the staff members. So let's say, it's like these three staff members here and let's give it a URL. We'll call it mustache trim and service duration is 30 minutes. Let's say yes to accepting payments. Let's say this costs $30. All right. Now let's go ahead and click on advanced settings, which will open up all the advanced settings here. So you can add a description. We're going to add it to a group. So we're going to add it to beard trim. This is why I had you create groups first, because you cannot do anything else until you have a group. And then you can add a calendar to it, and then you can go create the service menu. Okay. So the sequence of events is create the group, create the calendars for that group, and then create the service menu. All right. So let's go ahead and add beard trim. Let's go with... Appointment title, you can say like mustache, trim, contact name. All right, then we're going to save that and we're going to go to availability. And let's just keep it pretty simple. You could add all kinds of details if you need minimum scheduling notice of like three days or something, right? You don't need to do that, but if your customer or your business requires that, you can set that up here. Forms and payments. Again, we said it's going to cost, I think, $30 for this. You can test this in test mode. You don't need to. If you have Stripe set up, it should be pretty straightforward. And then you have all the different options like selecting a custom form for payment. You have a default thank you message or redirect to a different URL. And you can even track this via Facebook pixel ID. Let's go past this because we're not doing anything there. Notifications. So we want to send an acknowledgement email. And we want to send that to, let's just send it to the contact and let's send it to the assigned staff. Now we can send it to like a team email address, right? If it's like 
team at barbershop.com. Okay. Now that would be for notifying the entire barbershop or the admins or the owners of the barbershop that they have a new beard trim appointment scheduled. Let's just leave it at contact and assign staff. You can allow Google to send an invitation and update email invites. And let's just keep assigned contacts. Actually, let's do this. Assign contacts to the respective service staff members. We want that so that when they schedule with Jim or John or Mary, that contact gets allocated and assigned to that team member. Okay. Now we're going to say skip assigning contact if it already has a team. No, we're going to assign the contact regardless if there's already assigned a user. So let's go ahead and save that and move to the next section, which is customizations. This is where you would add that mustache trim image. I'm going to go get that image really quick and we'll add it here. All right. As you can see, we have our mustache, big glorious mustache being trimmed there. We don't have any custom code. We're going to allow rescheduling canceling. So we're going to leave all that on. We have some text here for the rescheduling canceling links. We're going to save that. Now rooms and equipment are very unique aspects to service calendars. Okay. I'm going to touch on these slightly in this video. As you can see, I set up a room called hair coloring station and I set up equipment. One's called a hair curler. I don't need to use either of these to trim a beard. So I'm not going to assign a room and I'm not going to assign equipment. So we are all done creating the service calendar. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And then once it bounces me out, I will apply a filter. So you guys don't have to look at all of my calendars. We'll just look at the service calendars and now you're going to see mustache trim here. Okay. Now here is the next step in the process. We created a group. We created a service calendar for the group. We're going to make sure that the service menu is showing that mustache trim. Cause when you create a new calendar, you have to make sure that whatever service menu already exists is pulling that calendar into it. All right. Now that may be confusing now. But when I go into service menus, you're going to see exactly why this is important. We're going to set up a service menu from scratch just to show you what it's like. But if I go in and edit this service menu, if I go to select services, you're going to see that when I click on beard trim as a group, mustache trim is not selected by default because it's a brand new calendar. Okay. So what high level does is it says, we don't know if you want this calendar to be part of the service menu. So just creating it doesn't add it to the menu, right? Like if I go to my service calendar here, that mustache trim is not going to exist here, right? I have to go in and I have to physically select this, right? I could select all as well. Now it's selected once I save and I go back to my calendar page, we can see mustache trim here on the bottom, all right? Let's go back though and let's start a brand new service menu from scratch. Let's go ahead and create a new service menu. This menu is going to be called schedule your haircut appointments below. We really don't need a description to say this is an amazing and persuasive description. Service menu URL to say barbershop. One, two, three, consent checkbox. I confirm that I want to receive content from this company. This is for when they schedule. If you're going to be sending them follow-up information, whether it's text, email, marketing content, whatever it is. And confirmation page, you could do a message or you could do a redirect URL. All right, so we're going to keep it as a message for now. We're going to go ahead and save that. It's going to bring us to the services page. So now you can see what I was talking about earlier where all of these groups can be either fully selected or individually selected. Now, if I select one of these calendars, it obviously pulls in the group, right? And you can notice that this is the group, women's haircut styles, and these are the calendars, okay? So full shave and mustache trim are under beard trim. This was the one we just created, all right? So if I select that, now only beard trim is going to be on this service menu. So let's give you guys a sneak peek at what it would look like with just a couple, like one of these calendars each selected. I'm going to go ahead and save and I'm going to arrange the services. So this is, gives me the opportunity to change the structure of the groupings that show up on that calendar page. 
So let's go with, we'll go women's haircut styles at the top. We'll go men's haircut styles, beard trim and hair color. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're gonna open this calendar up, select schedule your haircut appointment below. So we'll go to copy permanent look. And then we're gonna go on the same page here. This is the other calendar. So let's go ahead and paste that URL here. And as you can see, only the calendars that we selected are showing, but the groups are as well. Okay, so the groups and then those specific calendars. If I wanted to add all of the calendars, I would go back in here. I would edit the service menu. I go to select services. I can either open them up and select individual calendars, or I could just say select all. I go ahead and save that. And once it saves, I will refresh and you will see all of the calendars. Now, very important when troubleshooting, when doing this, you're going to run into some issues. High level, for some reason, change the order of how you arrange the groups. Okay. So as you can see, beer trims at the top for some reason. Every time you save, you're going to have to go in and arrange these groups again. So we're going to go women's haircut styles, men's haircut styles, beard trim, and hair color. We're going to save that. And then we're going to go refresh. And you will see those are in the order that we want them in now. Okay. Now, why trim and curl here under women's haircut styles is grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is because we assigned a piece of equipment to this specific appointment that is unavailable. With rooms and with equipment, you have the ability to assign a quantity. And if that quantity is already taken, then the calendar that is associated with those rooms and with those pieces of equipment will not be available. If you follow these instructions, so you start with a group, so create a group or multiple groups, create your service calendars, then create your service menu, you will end up with a beautiful looking service menu and calendars like this, and your customers are going to be very, very happy. Now, what does it look like when I go to book? Okay, if I go to women's fade, and the first thing it's going to ask me if it's just me or do, am I bringing guests with me? Okay, so if I say just me, that's great. If I bring three people, you'll notice a button down here that changes. It says select different services. That means that between me and my two friends, I can select different haircuts. So I can say, okay, yeah, my guest number two, he's a, a man and he needs a spike. Guest number three, they have a full beard and they would like a mustache trim. So now we have three guests, all three different services. And now we're going to go to confirm. Now we're going to be able to select staff members and pay for the service that we're obviously going to get. So if we go to women's fade, you'll see me and Darlin. So I'm going to select Darlin. Here we have different individuals that can do this haircut. So we're going to select me and then mustache trim. Again, different individuals will select Sergio. So you know, you can allocate different team members to different services. And then when people are scheduling, they have the ability to choose who is doing the service for them. As we go through this, now it's just like a normal calendar. We select the time, we go to continue. Now we have to fill out the information here and we have to submit a card if the customer is paying for the service. And then you're done. They just schedule the appointments and you're good to go. So that is the basics of creating service calendars, creating service menus. So hope you guys learned a lot and we'll see you in the next videos. Thanks.